Hi, this is Tony with BesideTheFrontDoor.com and behind me today I have the Dolgo Crab Apple. It has the beautiful white that you see in the in the spring. Gorgeous, gorgeous, full, full, full of flowers that you expect from a crab apple. It is super hardy, like you expect from a crab apple, even hardier than some of the others, way down you know, past the zone three. You can be reliably getting some great flowers in the spring from this crab apple, These, being a, a dwarf tree as well. But one thing that is interesting, you don't have to use this only for crab apple jam. This is one of the few um, ornamental crab apples that is also has an edible, completely edible, tastes really good, just not very large, uh, fruit. It doesn't have the little teeny fruit of your typical crab apples. You can see behind me that even this one in the nursery row um, is, you know, getting over an inch large. Um, they can get a little bit even larger when it's, you know, being grown um, in the field. And they're just starting to get ripened now. It's not ripe enough to eat yet but it you can see behind me it is just loaded with all of this fruit now you are welcome to make jelly out of it like any other uh, uh, regular you know apples but you can eat this out of hand as well and it's just a marvelous to mix in with other fruits and berries and and other uh, even other apples for that change in size and texture in your uh, offerings of your dessert fruits um, so again this is dole gold crab apple completely edible. Um, I've grown this in Vermont. This happens to be in Idaho right now um, where it has cool nights and so if things don't normally get quite as large as elsewhere but in Vermont um, I ate them they're about that big so it's just a it was a smaller apple but certainly perfect size to throw in the lunchbox. Another really great thing about the Dolgo crab apple is look how clean those leaves are. We haven't sprayed with anything this year. Now, in more humid areas, uh, you, you might need to, like any other crab apple, spray a little bit against some mildew and things. Um, but even, even here, we start getting some tattered looking leaves by this time in the season on most edible crab, most edible apples. But these, they're super clean, no insects, just beautiful. A great low maintenance plant to be growing in your garden. If this is helpful to you, please click like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. If you have any more questions about any of the plants I've talked about today, please go to BesideTheFrontDoor.com and I'll have some of the uh, spec sheets available um, for you to download and uh, take to your local nursery if you're looking for one of them. I wanted to give a shout out to the owner of Sun Valley Garden Center, Bryce Terzian. Thank you for letting me film here.